clothes, toys, family pictures, and even baby shoes all ruined because of the soot left over from the fire. Darius Johnson, a 2016 Morehouse graduate and 2017 Columbia Journalism School graduate, is a new face to Savannah, Georgia's local news station, WSAV. He joined in summer of 2017. It gave me a rush. It gave me like an adrenaline rush, and that's something that I would need on an everyday basis to work because I want to do something that's exciting, something that's thrilling, something where I'm constantly moving. I can't just sit at it. At, a desk all day. I would say practice, 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 and repetition, repetition, repetition. Um, it was definitely one of those things where I wasn't comfortable at first. You know, it's hard just talking to a camera, especially because the camera isn't a person. You already sometimes have trouble making new relationships with people who you don't know. So now it's like you're trying to make a relationship with a lens, a piece of technology and you have to talk to it you have to make sure that you sound good that you don't look weird you don't look awkward or anything like that and it's definitely a challenge starting out and it's just one of those things you have to continuously practice and work at and work towards and one thing that mentors and other people told me the entire time was act like you're talking to your mom your best friend your grandma somebody who you're comfortable talking to and just do it i would say I used to see it, but I never could see myself doing it. Um, my parents always made me watch the news growing up, and they would say, you need to know what's going on in the world. And I would be like, why? But, you know, those same people are the people who are still news reporters and anchors in my hometown back in Chicago. Let me show you this. This tree has been halfway uprooted from the ground. But we just learned that an Amtrak train derailed. And as right now, my photog and I are actually walking down to the scene where everything happened. And I'm just going to go halfway through so you can see how high this water is. It's still limited here on campus tonight with LaRoche Avenue being the only point of entry if you have identification. Clothes, toys, family pictures, and even baby shoes all ruined because of the soot left over from the fire. Now we're also just going to pan over to this driver right here. This is Brian who lives right here in Savannah. He is currently heading back home. And Brian, talk to me about why you're out here. This is snow right now. It's snowing. You said this is your first time out here. Will there be more charging stations like these placed across the city? Many of them were heard chanting fight John fight as this young man is in the fight of his life. Bass says that simple move like the jab and cross and roll under are ways to keep your attacker at a distance. Now today I found out that many of those students don't have the app on their phone, but campus police hope that they'll download it tonight because they say it could be the difference between life and death. For now, reporting live at Savannah State University, Darius Johnson, WSAV News 3. The pros to live shots is I'm able to be myself. Um, I am able to show the viewer what is going on around me, able to put the viewer in the moment. So I think that's one of the most important things about live shots. Biggest advice I would give is don't do it for the money because you don't make any. Don't do it for the fame. Do it because you love it. Do it because you want to help people. You love talking to people. You love telling stories and you'll know quick and fast, whether it's something you want to do, because it isn't for the week. You definitely have to, it's one of those run and gun type of jobs. You have to be able to stay focused. You have to be able to juggle so many different things at one time and still have a perfect product. And you also have to understand that you're not perfect in this industry. There are so many days where you will have a lot of great days and you have a lot of bad days and you will really question whether it's something you want to do, but you just have to stick to the fight and continue to move. Coming up on News 3 at 10 and 11, I spent the day digging through this lawsuit filed by the city against 20 different drug manufacturers and talking to city leaders about what needs to be done. And I'm glad you gave me all the time because everybody here wants to be on TV. Everybody here wants to be on America's Got Talent. And it's so much talent in the building, I just couldn't choose. I came all the way over here to try to make that one million dollars, you know, got to feed the whole family. All right, I like to hear that. Go ahead and tell everybody why you're here. Go ahead and let them hear your raps. Don't ever try to get next to me. Cooking up, that's a recipe. Kill the state, that's a recipe. Say these people love me heavily. All right. Well, me, I fall in love with you every single day. 
And I just wanna tell you I am. So honey now, I can't really sing, but that's my song. Reporting live at the Savannah International Trade and Convention Center, Darius Johnson, WSAV News. Unfortunately, I was not able to interview any of his close family members and friends due to his news contract.
out. You have to have that hands-on experience to really get you focused and get you into that mindset of this is what I'll be doing every day.